To replace your battery, you're going to have to have access to your battery compartment or battery hatch. Most styles, you do have access to the battery compartment. You may have a console computer or console module that's inside of a console boot. What you're going to have to do is just pop that out so you can get access to your battery compartment. There are two most common types of tool. You do have a spanner wrench that works on some of the wrist mounted computers. You'll see two little holes in the battery cover compartment. Basically what you're going to do is put the two spanner parts into the console and twist to unlock the locking mechanism of your battery compartment. The other type of tool is just a common quarter that will fit in to the slotted area and basically you just unscrew the battery compartment. Before you replace the battery cover, you want to make sure that the back of your computer console is dry and clean of debris, no sand or grit, just so it doesn't fall into the battery compartment. Once you have the battery cover off, first thing you're going to want to do in your battery kit, it comes with a replacement battery, the spare o-ring, and a little tube of silicone grease. What you're going to want to do is basically just pinch your o-ring so your o-ring comes off. You want to inspect your, your battery cover, make sure there's no cracks or make sure that it's free of deb debris. Then what you're going to do is get out your new o-ring you're going to open up that little tube of silicone grease and just to dabble do you, you want to put something in between your fingers and just rub it around the o-ring to make sure it's clean. Once you've done that, basically you're going to install your o-ring back into the seated position and then you're going to go to your battery. Most dive computers have a tense 5 to 15 second delay. Um, so if you can change your battery within that time, you won't lose any of the data that's stored inside your computer. What you're going to do is just pop out your battery. You're going to grab your new replacement battery. And on this particular model, you have two little brackets. So you can't just sit the dive, sit the battery into the compartment. You need to slide it in at an angle and then seat it. You want to make sure that the positive side is up, but you also want to read your dive computer manual to make sure that you're installing the battery properly. Once you have the battery installed, you want to check the compartment, make sure there's no, nothing has fallen down in there. Once you've checked that area, you're just going to grab your cover, make sure it's seated, and then tighten it down. And once it stops, it's tight enough. You don't have to over tighten it. You might crack it or you might damage the slot where your tool goes. Once you've replaced your battery and tightened down the battery cover, you're going to want to turn your dive computer on, let it run through its diagnostic system check. After that, you're all set.